Hello, well today we're making a couple of coracles. Now coracles are a bit like basket boats and they used to be used for salmon fishing, for setting nets, etc. on rivers. And we're going to have a go today at making two different types and have them floating on a local reservoir, hopefully before sunset. So that's the plan, we're at the Kent Bodgers. We're going to make an Arnbridge coracle, uh, which is like a slatted construction, so we're using chestnut slats for that one. And the other one we're making more like the Irish Carracks, the Boeing Carracks, so it's more of a, like a basket boat with willow. So it'll be very interesting to see how these work out, whether they hold water and whether we can actually pilot them across this reservoir. So I'm nominally in charge of the cane willow rush one. The one that's going to sink. The one that's going to be the best, quickest one. <laughs> and the other one John's nominally in charge of. So that's it really. Let's make boats. Save a bit of draw knifing. We're limited on what we've got yeah. because we need to be not free because of the steaming process. Yeah, you're saying about not thinning them down too much, but they go the go. And then with this one, you'd go half, and then you'd obviously half that side, and then half that side. There, so that should be fine. That's going to bend, it's bending oh, yes. reasonably well already. So you know that that's going to be good. Is that willow? This is willow, yeah. Yeah. So we can just put a little point on the end of that, and then we're good to good to plant. So that we can plant that guy in there. The ground is really tough. Possibly go wrong. That's okay. So that's so got a couple in. Once we got started, so that's called pairing. But the steam is so strong, it's blown fire seal. Yeah. It goes in the steam, there we are. How long do you think we'll give them, John? Uh, I would say normally about an hour, but there's no harm in doing it longer. What number is this one? This? Oh, I'm not sure. This is about my eighth one, yeah, I think. Yeah. Getting a good workout today. Yeah, but this is just a short one. Yeah. One of the shorter ones. Great. So what we're doing here is we're pairing. So we're weaving these guys round across each other, over one, over the next one. So they're, they're sort of twisting round. We're doing that all the way round. Every time we run out of length, we're just inserting a new one. We'll tidy all this up later. Um, so when we've, when we've done a complete round, we'll pop the seat in. So the seat fits between these two guys here. Okay. So this effectively is the well, will be the top of the boat, and then we're going to do another round or two of pairing underneath that to basically lock it all together. Then we can start the bending in. So that's when we start moving these guys across. I'm not going to do it now because we'll end up snapping. Yeah, snapping. One. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Which we'll probably end up doing anyway at some point. <laughs> but yeah, so these will all then fold down. And the idea, I'll do it one of these is that that's going to come across like that and the other one is going to come across and then we'll tie those together so we'll have a reasonable arc there, reasonable arc down that side but we want to get a flat bottom and that'll help us win the race yeah great <laughs> so you've got your seat balled seat is now, so we're going to finish this um, set of pairing just to strengthen up this, this um, front back whichever it is um, now the seats in now we're going to basically just keep doing the same thing to that lock the seat in place mm, but we're going to have a celebratory cup of tea first <laughs> yes <laughs> very important Where 
Take some out there. Check over the mark, please. That's it. Push her in. Line up the mark. That's it. And yeah, again, okay. please. Push her round. That's it. We're just unlucky with that first one. We had a. Yeah, it's right on the knot. Right on the knot. <coughs> okay. Okay. Ready. Good. So you've got your seat nicely locked in. Seat's pretty much done. We're going to do, I think this is going to be our last section for you to do. Starting to look like a paddle, isn't it? Yep, starting to look a bit more like it. Yeah. There, John. Ready? That's it. Yeah. Now, put lots of support on the corner. Is that to get the centre and go low enough so you don't fall out? Well, if, if yeah. Richard ties around there, we don't want it to snap. So we're going to try, sort of tie them in position here, leave them for a bit, do the next ones, and then come back and hope that this is kind of taken oh. up the shape. Yeah, yeah. That's Trevor. the thinking. So, yeah. with it as um, well, can't so yeah. ideally, you'd have, let, you'd have harvested these ages ago and let them be a bit wilty, and um, we haven't had that chance, obviously. So. so I've nicked your knife. I've got one in the car. And then we've got helpers that just steal your tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. I've been good at that all the time. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Yeah, we've got to stop now. <laughs> Is this the evening up phase? Or yeah, the... what we're looking at is we're trying to keep these, we've got a nice shape, that's a nice shape there yep. for the edge, but we've got a kink on the end of that one. So what we're trying to do is we've cut the bottom off, we're now trying to jab it in a little bit more. If it doesn't work, we'll just replace it with another one. Yeah, yeah. But you can see that's nice towards the end of the boat. It's looking very nice. It's the sharp end of the boat. Yeah. Which is the bow. <laughs> Probably. Quite nautical expertise. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. So the sternum bow. We may there, have so to change yeah. this guy out, Colin, because this yeah, is I that's really that's looking really nice, but yeah, this is that's not looking good at all. And for the sake of just moving over here and finding a nice flexible piece in amongst what's left of our former. So let's do that. So if we chop all these off square, with the lockers the you. lopper all these, something like I'm about, think, I'm thinking, oh okay. about there, all the way round. Right. Okay, so yeah, then we can turn, and then we can okay. push them down and then do a finished off one. Take these sharp points off the wall. On the back side with my draw knife. Yeah, very good. And, uh, under and over. So it's under that one. Over that one. Over. Over. Okay, let's straighten her out as best we can. Yes, the idea of blunting the nail is obviously to stop it splitting the wood as we knock it through. We hopefully that will work. Oh, yes. going, we want to go out of that one. And in this one. Well, maybe yeah. in that one. Don't, don't do it yet. That one. Yeah. 
That's the other one, one. This one? This one? Yeah. Is it on? We're punching a hole through on water, through the water line then. They give me off with the old one, maybe take it. Should we call that? So, Carol, if you can keep, keep us toy it, like a toy gun. Yeah. Toy it's like a toy Yeah, look like a toy gun. Hang on. And that's it. Right, we'll have floated across the lake and we'll be back before you finish. No, we... I'll cut that a bit generous. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's got to be 18, but to the top, so that's the height there. But you do a bit generous. The same. Do we? I think uh, it's probably okay. It's nice and tight, Aaron. Yeah. It needs to be tight. Um, okay. 14's up. So now we want three upright. Oh, right, that's, yeah. that's 14 there. Oh, okay. Hello, Amy. <laughs> Right, yeah. All of the railways here, Harry. Brilliant. They have twin we fingers. Reasonable on the canvas, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> okay. okay. Take, send it to Richard Bingham. That's <laughs> quite large. Excellent. Let him write a drum roll. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> choose. <laughs> oh, gosh. Choose, choose. Right. So, I think it's a bit poor still. Yeah, have to be oh, quick. Yeah, you better jump. Yeah, That's not going to work. Well, it's still going to work. Where's the line? You've got to go in quick and paddle around and come back. Give us a paddle then. That's a light one. one. Oh, I'm not sure we're going to get around the pond in here. No. We're all leaking. <laughs> if it was raining. Is that what it was? Uh, you need a line on that? Oh. Hang on a minute. In the line. <laughs> Someone to well, steady. Yeah, 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 you ain't going to go long. <laughs> before you do a very good job on You're not going far before yeah. you're yeah. coming back. I only had three, 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 three times. Hold the steady for him. Yeah, yeah, can you yeah, have more steady yeah. 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 We need a line on it. Yeah, well, Don't go too far. Like Don't go far, no. I'd rather you not bounce. Don't go far, just wow. I hope so. Don't pop the sun, it's going to get wet. Is it coming first? Yeah, let me hold the back. Um, is that the back? Yeah. Wow. Is that right. leaking? Right. 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 Get steady. Oh, oh, let go back on it a bit. <laughs> sit back, sit <laughs> back on it a bit. That's my ankle. Gosh. Oh, here comes the other one. We're we doing bumper boats. If you like. <laughs> 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 So that one's more unstable because it's, yes, it's, it's part of the uh, centre of gravity, it sinks fire out. Yeah. And this one's got water in the bottom, stabilising. Yeah, stabilising. Yeah, Holy moly, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. 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 Who else was on the deck? Yeah. 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 The one there was they some canoeists. Lighter. How much water is there in there now? Lighter weight. Sorry, same again. Why did you look so like a canoe? Why did you look so easy? I need a punt, I think. Before I get too far out of my day. Well done, Harry, we've got you. Yes. Well done everyone. I'd like to say a special thanks to everyone who helped me making this film, especially Dr. Damien Goodburn, who's a fellow bodger and helped with the Irish coracles. And also my dear wife, who supplied this picture of her great granny in a coracle. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the film and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.